Second Amendment sanctuary. We've heard this term a lot in recent years, more so in the past year or so, as cities and counties in Idaho declaring themselves to be one of those. Well, that's picked up the pace. We went from the city of Star back in July of 2020 to Eagle last September, then Cascade over to St. Anthony in October. Then by the end of last year, Nampa was added to the list. CUNA, Hagerman then began the new year with the same declarations, and that doesn't include the handful of counties in Idaho who did the same thing. All told, there are more than 15, about a dozen Second Amendment sanctuary cities and counties in Idaho, places that put out a public claim to being a safe haven for guns and well, gun owners, meaning they will, they say, they will not enforce any state or federal laws they consider infringing on a person's right to keep and bear arms, like any of them. It's a movement that gained footing around 2018, triggered by the threat of stricter gun laws, which were being considered in the wake of several mass shootings across the country. Last fall, there were about 400 places in 20 states that had such declarations or resolutions in place. Now that's up to about 1,200. None of them have seen any legal scrutiny though, until now, and it's happening in Oregon. Columbia County, a small county north of Portland, known for logging, last year narrowly passed an ordinance that not only said county officials would not enforce most state, federal, and local firearm regulations, but there would be a fine for anyone who did. $2,000 for individuals and $4,000 for corporations who tried to enforce any law or regulation affecting the right to keep and bear arms, accessories, or ammunition. Of course, they allowed exceptions like laws for felons, but background checks, which is an Oregon law, and restrictions on carrying a gun, well, those would not be enforced. But for the most part, any law that well, they were not already enforcing, they wouldn't be because of this ordinance. That measure passed last November narrowly, as we mentioned, but state law allows a judge to take a look at it to see if it's legal before it goes into effect. Those that want the ordinance overturned argue federal law supersedes state law, even state constitutions. Those who want it in place are in favor of fewer regulations. Now, there's no timeline on this determination, and whatever the judge decides, won't really have any bearing outside of the Beaver State. However, it might send a message to other sanctuary locales, like the dozen or so here in Idaho. Then again, maybe not. The state of Idaho basically became a sanctuary state back in 2014. Then Governor Butch Otter signed into law Senate Bill 1332, the Idaho Federal Firearms Magazine and Register Ban Enforcement Act. They probably could have saved some ink and paper had they called it the sanctuary state law, but whatever. That bill passed the House 68 to 0, and 34 to 0 out of the Senate, unanimous in both chambers. It was meant to protect Idaho law enforcement officers being forced to violate their oath to uphold Idaho's Constitution, specifically Section 11, Article 1, the right of the people to keep and bear arms and a right that shall not be abridged. We've talked about this before, back in September, when Eagle voted to become a sanctuary city. While Idaho's Attorney General has yet to weigh in on the legality of such cities and counties, we did mention Virginia's AG, AD, AG, that is, back then, a place where there were nearly 200 municipalities that have passed gun safe resolutions. The Attorney General of Virginia said they really carry no legal force. So maybe we're about to find out for the first time ever if that's true. Are these just symbolic gestures or can local governments really defy the state, local governments, by the way, who only exist because state laws say they can exist? For the first time ever, we could see a decision by a Columbia County judge in Northwest Oregon spread across the country like the tidal wave of sanctuary cities it could affect. Then again, maybe not.